Hey there guys, today I'll be bringing you a video introducing you to the newest member of my family. By that, I mean my recently built RC plane. This is an FT Versa wing, and as you can see it's very fairly small compared to my uh, DX6i. That's because I've built it uh, slightly smaller. Honestly, I have no clue what scale it is, whether it be 30% smaller. I just went with 1 centimeter equals 1 inch, and it brought me to this. And to build the entire thing, it was pretty cheap. And if you're looking into a scratch building planes, and you want to buy electronics for cheap, you can build this very cheaply. Now, I'm not including my transmitter or my receiver, just because that's what uh, system I fly. Whether you fly Spectrum or Futaba or Hobby King, you can uh, choose that yourself. But for all the electronics I got, I got two servos. Oop, there's an alert there. Close. Uh, which is $2.99. And the ESC that I bought, it's just a simple 10 amp ESC. And that is $7.09. And then we have the motor, which is a Turnage Park 250. It's 2050 kV and it's 11.55. Hard to kind of see there. And the battery amp line is a 7.4 volt, uh, 12.50. Yeah, so that's uh, 583. And when you add all that up, it equals just 30 bucks for everything. Now, of course, I'm not including the uh, the wing because that's a dollar of a uh, dollar store foam board. And I was able to fit the entire plane in on one sheet, except the uh, winglets, which are op optional. It does fly better with winglets, though. And, of course, for the firewall, I just built that out of some balsa, which is easily 38 cents at a hobby store. Then you have to buy the uh, plugs, which I've horribly soldered from uh, the uh, engine to the ESC. That's another simple $2 at your hobby store. And then of course, you don't need to buy this battery, that's just what I'm flying. And with the ESC, it doesn't come with your battery plug, which you have to buy separately. And with all that, that added about five bucks to my, uh, my price for the entire thing. So I was able to buy all the electronics for just 35 bucks, which is extremely cheap. Hope that that uh, kind of helped you out. But another thing that I thought was cool is that the rubber bands I used to hold the prop on the prop saver fit perfectly around my antenna. So that was pretty easy all itself, but for 35 bucks, that's uh, pretty amazing. And yes, I did take that desktop background, which I am extremely proud of. <laughs> anyway, hope this video was kind of interesting and maybe it'll help you with your scratch building uh, plans. Hope you enjoy and I'll be bringing more soon. Bye.